three, two, one. And I thought to myself, wow, that's what a real holding midfielder looks like. That's what a real six looks like. And if you put that in this team, not saying all your problems go away, but it makes a massive difference. Because look how bad you guys were all those years with McTominay and Fred as your double pivot. Yeah. Neither of them are sitter. McTominay's always been box to box. They tried to turn him into a sitter. Look how many problems you've had. And you get yeah, that one exactly. player in, of course, you bring in Martin as well, but you bring him in, like he's the difference. If he didn't come in, you still be getting bypassed in midfield. Yeah, Martinez, be Maguire and Baran at the back. Yeah, your defenders, centre backs, we still be dealing with too much pressure, too many one v one situations, too much exposure. Casemiro comes in, fixes everything in that midfield, everything. Oh, hundred percent. And he showed he showed his quality. The term world class is thrown around too much. When you yeah. watch Casemiro, that's world class. You can see that he's head and shoulders above most players in the Premier League. So mm -hmm. a lot of these players that you guys are calling world class are not that because. If they're world-class, they're not on the same level as Casemiro. Mm -hmm. There's not many players in this league that are on the same level as Casemiro. Not many. Do you know what I mean? If you can name me five at a stretch, I don't even think you can. Because I don't believe there, there are players of his level in the league. I, I couldn't even name you one. I genuinely couldn't. Because he's that good. And he's got the fucking CV to match. Do you know what I mean? So it's not, it's not a thing where... It's like, oh, yeah, I just think he, bro, man's got the CV to match. You know, like that. It's crazy. Five Champions League. Five. It's crazy, bro. You know what I mean? And they didn't want him to leave. Do you know what I mean? So when man are talking, man talk about Rodri. Rodri's not on his level, bro. Do you know what I mean? And the thing is, it's not even a Rodri situation. I'm talking about players in general, bro. There's not many players in the league that you watch, yeah? And week in, week out, they're head and shoulders above everyone else on the pitch. There's not many. Casemiro is the only guy that I watch. And every single week, he's so much better than everyone else on the pitch. On both sides. There's no one. I'm not talking about DMs. Like, I can't think of a single wide player that's consistently yeah, top class every single week, bro. Like, top, top, top class. I can't think of one. I can't think of a striker, bro. Because Holland ain't it, bro. We can finish, but other than that, he's dusty. Now, literally, like, a bad game for him is an 8 out of 10 performance, like someone said. There's not many players like that. There's not many players like that. It's very very seldom that you see Casemiro throw up anything less than an 8 out of 10. Mm. You know? and, and that's his level, bro. That's his level every week. Whether yeah, he's playing every single week. the League One teams or the Prem teams, it doesn't matter who he's playing against. That's his level, bro. Our only bad performance he had was against Everton in the cup where he obviously gave away that 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 ball for the what was it? He was having a bit of a of a wasn't of a, that one of his first games though? No, no, no. Recently, the one that you just played last week. I watched him, yeah. Casemiro. That was a that was an off day. But he can have an off day because he you know, if you have ten good games score in that game. Huh? No, nah, you, uh, you you guys won three one. Rashford cut Rashford come and got okay. Yeah, Rashford come on and done a madness. But if if you if, if he has you know ten great games and one bad game, people will take that. Yeah, people will take that. That's you what know? I'm saying. He's a world class player, man. World class player, unbelievable. And it's funny because not only is he doing everything you need him to do off the ball, the guy is on the ball, brilliant. The passing, yeah. the passing, he's, he's basically like a deep line playmaker at times. Yeah, but he's a destroyer at the same time. Mm -hmm. Just goes to show you can have it all. You don't have to pick and choose. And this Don't is it for less. There are not many players of that quality in the world. You're damn right. Like, I hear United it. Ain't really losing games like that. I hear People it. People laughed but... at us after the first two games. Remember what this this chat was like, guys. After mm. the first two games, man, we're going on like the world was over. Do you know what I mean? Man United in the mud. Do you know what mm. I mean? Man, we're calling him Eric 10 weeks Wait, and it's that. It's your first season, man. You don't, you're not under any pressure with Ten Hag. You know what I mean? You Bruh, don't have they were to. calling him Eric 10 weeks, blood. <laughs> man was saying he was going to get sacked. Do you know what I mean? And now mm. this guy's got the best fucking record in the first 20 games in the history of any manager, bro. It might even be in the history of the Premier League. Yeah, but Arsenal... Awesome. He's got like an 80-something percent or 70-something percent win record or something like that. Yeah. Shit, shit's crazy. It is. Mama called him Eric 10 weeks. But... Come on, bro. But, like I said, for the good of, good of the sport, for the good of the football community, if you watch football with your Eyes, forget the stats. You can't look at this guy 
and tell me that, bro, this guy's the best midfielder in the league or even top five, bro. Like, he's not, bro. Like, this is just what it is. It's not even a joke. It's facts, bro. He can't even keep the ball. Like, rule number one of playing in midfield, keep the ball. Everything else after that. Keep the fucking ball. He can't even do that. Can't receive the ball on a half turn with players around him. He's just all stats, bro. He's all stats, bro. Like, literally, he's a human calculator. That's what that geezer is. You know what I mean? So, it's one of them ones where, bro, he's a Bruno Fernandes with better PR, bro. That's all it is. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I find it funny, bro. Even when you look at Madison, bro. You can see Madison is a better all-round footballer than De Bruyne. But De Bruyne's playing in a, in a better team. And the, what De Bruyne's good at, he's very strong at. But they always say in life, you're only as good as your weakest link. De Bruyne has got like 9 out of 10 shooting. And like 9 out of 10 striking of the ball. But then he's like 4 out of 10 of everything else. Know what I mean? And, and that brings the overall down. That's why I'm not buying it, bro. That Pep system, yeah, gave Sterling a career. And now look what he's doing at Chelsea. 320 something K a week. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a mad thing. <laughs> bro, they were talking about Sterling being world class, you know. And Real Madrid and them things there, bro. He was linked with Barcelona. Remember? Barcelona. <laughs> Broski. This is what Pep does. Pep have man thinking that man are crazy, bro. This is what Pep does, bro. Literally, Pep should have a stand in Harrods, bro. A makeup stand, bro. Because he's selling all you man dreams. All of you. You know, like that. Bottom floor of Selfridges. Man like Pep standing there with a the foundation. Because it's mad. I can't believe it. All these man leave City. Even in the international teams, they're dead. Bro, which, which international players for Man City are, are showing up for their country? Ake was like the only one. They're saying Foden next in the comments. <laughs> bro, listen. Man like Philip. Uh, I'm not involved in it. My team's too shit for me to be talking on De Bruyne. Bro, for. listen. Me, De Bruyne, a baller, I take De Bruyne. Bro, I take De Bruyne tomorrow, man. Top player. Foden's a baller, <laughs> but bro, I'm telling you. Look at Cancelo right now. Man sitting on bench, yeah? You know what I'm saying? For some, some R&B singer, bro. What's that light skin you called, blood? <laughs> Oh, no, fam. Oh, you know Rico Lewis. Rico Lewis. Yeah, yeah but yeah, man yeah. like Rico and that. No, man, man getting sit down for Rico and Dallo and that. You know, like that. Dallo sitting him down. Rico sitting him down. You know what I'm saying? Man's, man's probably on Instagram liking comments about that like, cussing Pep and that. That's where Cancelo is right now. You know, like that. Man said B2K member and that. Rico Lewis and that. Lil Fizz and that. Yo, it's peak. You know, like that. Like all the man dying in the World Cup, you know, they didn't have no one that came home with any credit in the bank, bro. No players. Apart from maybe um, Ake. It's not good enough, bro. It's not good enough. 